Kia koutou. Uh, my name is Huhana Smith. I am the Head of School of Art Fiti Orehua at the College of Creative Arts Toirau Whārangi. The future of art in this precarious world that we live in is now more important than ever. But one of the things I recognise about creative practice, um, creative people, we're always finding solutions to some of the deepest problems that we're in. And I really firmly believe that there's no more time now than for those creative people to come together and actually come and learn at the School of Art Whiti uh, Our staff are, are they globally minded, they're also locally minded, um, they're really concerned about the planet, um, they take environmentalism, climate change, um, everything to do with the um, difficulties that we're in, they take it really seriously. And we try and extend that kind of sense of purpose to our students, um, that they come in here and they learn about how they can harness their creative talents, their, their abilities to visualise, their abilities to see, and come and join us and learn more about that space. Why should you come to Fiti Orehua School of Art? Our students should come to us because we're very haptic, we're very hands-on, we're studio-based, uh, where our students are taught by the best in the world. Uh, we have uh, close relationships to Te Atiawa on Pukiahu campus. Um, we want to imbue our, our creative practices from a, a, Māori, a Māori knowledge base, but also acknowledge the diversity that comes to this college. Creative potential is really, really important for this world we live in now. And if, if students have that capacity to be able to visualise, to see, um, to render in any shape or form through a contemporary art lens, well, they're the kind of critical thinkers that we need. Art and creativity is really important. Uh, it's the ability for people to be able to problem solve, to see them why, them, themselves through, through difficult experiences, um, to uh, be able to see futures and to be able to articulate that through digital means or hands-on means or to be able to make and create new spaces in, in how people want to see themselves in this world. Uh, I, I cannot en, um, emphasise it enough that it's the creative thinkers who are also the critical conscious, consciousness of society as well, so that they bring so many dimensions and so many levels. And what we try to do with our staff is be able to infuse and put so much energy into those students so that they can uh, increase their knowledge bases in any ways possible, but also be able to take that creative practice out to the world. Fine Arts at Massey, uh, it's one of two uh, art schools in the country that are actually transmedia, so the students don't sign up to be a painter or a photographer or a sculptor. They actually can make art in whatever media they want. So it's the only transmedia art school in Wellington. I think it's the only art school that has vertically streamed classes, which that jargon might not mean anything to people, but it means the second years and the third years and the fourth years are all in studio or in class together. It's the only 21st century art school in the country, and it kind of like shares, you know, has a strong relationship with design, and especially in its first year. I've sort of come to think of the sort of progression right through from year 13 um, to fourth year in these kind of quite discrete stages. You know, I know that most of our students come in with their um, painting portfolio and they've done, you know, a lot of small works for the uh, NCA panels. And so I've come to see the first year as being a space where they like work big, like really big, uh, and across all of the other media um, alongside painting. So, you know, we introduce them to installation and sculpture and photography and what is sound when it's art, what is text when it's art, and kind of like to a whole, you know, raft of different kind of like media and approaches. Um, we introduce them to the idea that process is really important, that how you make something can be as important as the finish or the look. Um, and yeah, like I said before, that just working big after those kind of like small works that they've been making. After the foundation year, the shared year with design, um, students choose their major if they come into fine arts. Uh, they get a, a project that's got a theme uh, and they have to sign up to specific media for that one time only. I said it was a transmedia major, but you know, at that early stage, you kind of want some parameters. You know, you want to feel safe. Um, 
But students are challenged to come up with their own exercises that will kind of like unlock the themes that they've decided to, um, or the way they've decided to approach the theme. Um, from third and fourth year, students are writing their own assignments. So when they graduate, there's no, um, there's no anxiety around like, how do I be an artist without, uh, without an assignment in front of me? Because they've been actually writing their own assignments for two years. Yeah. And they, they know who they are as, as artists and they know what their practice is, they know what their preferred media is and what their preferred subject matter is. Some of the opportunities that students have here, they can do um, an internship uh, in their third year with um, a professional artist or an institution, City Gallery, Te Papa, one of the artist run um, spaces, uh, galleries in town. Um, they, can, they can volunteer in our gallery, the engine room. Um, they get to meet all sorts of kind of like uh, national and international um, artists as they kind of come through town and we uh, grab them for guest lectures uh, into the program. Um, and they also exhibit right from their second year. So we start safe, it's like uh, the exhibitions take place on campus and you're exhibiting with your fellow students from your class or your studio. Um, at second year level, but by the time they get to fourth year, they're um, creating pop-up exhibitions around town. Yeah, and so there's a sort of a big takeover of uh, all of the um, lots of gallery spaces, cafes, and kind of unused retail spaces. You know, during the sort of exhibition moment that the fourth years have towards the end of their time here. I guess a lot of people think, well, I'm going to art school to be an artist, and that is one thing that you can do. Um, but there are people doing all sorts of things, you know, working in the arts industry as the technical install crew, as the curator, as the director, as the writer. Yeah, I mean, students get to use the woodwork and metal workshop if they want to make sculpture. They uh, get to kind of um, use the expertise of the uh, AV technician to sort of help do multi-projector installations, things like that. The, re the relationship with workshops, because it's a transmedia major, we couldn't possibly teach students every single thing they might need as an artist across every media. So um, students get to select the workshops themselves. So for example, this morning, some people learned how to make a canvas stretcher and lots of people didn't because they're not particularly interested in painting. They might've gone off and learned how to use a piece of editing software with the AV technician, or they might've gone off and learned how to cast silicon with Caitlin DeVoy in industrial design. So um, it depends what your interests are, yeah. Students work largely individually, but they're allowed to collaborate. So you can you can collaborate with a friend in fine arts and you know submit that work kind of um, yeah for kind of like final submission. Uh, the place that students really come together and collaborate is in the exhibition space. So I guess you're still working individually, but then you have to be able to agree on on this install on how to describe the exhibition, you know, in a catalog or a wall text, on uh, if you're in fourth year, on what kind of space in the city uh, you are interested in working in and how that kind of context, um, yeah, sets up the kind of the exhibition really well. In your first year, you will have a class with a lecturer or two lecturers. Um, and in your second year, we, sort of think students are still trying out a range of media. You know, you haven't really found yourself as an artist at that stage. So uh, the lecturers that we assign students uh, to, it's quite random, you know, because we think, you know, students, they're not quite sure whether they're sculptors um, or painters, whether they like to make comedic work or kind of like uh, gothic work or, or whatever it might be. Um, but as students start to kind of like find what those biases are, from the third year, and into the fourth year, we actually do start to align the students' emerging practice with the lecturers. So, and I think that's maybe different about this program from other art schools. That kind of alignment between a student's practice and a, re a researcher's or a lecturer's practice is usually something that happens at postgraduate or master's level, but we do it from year three uh, into year four. Yeah. If you're a student who comes in with like a really hard and fast idea that you, for example, want to be a sculptor, you know, you will be challenged in your first year to do some other things. And also, you know, to test that idea that, you know, is this the only thing you love, you know, because you will experience kind of some other media and other disciplines. Um, but then as you move into the fine arts major from your second year, there'll be 
only one project where you'll be asked to consider another media alongside uh, sculpt sculpture, and then from then on, you are writing your own briefs. Half of your first semester in your second year, you know, right through, you can, you can be all about sculpture. Yeah. We get quite a few students going into the master's program from the BFA, not always straight away, because if you've had however many years of schooling, and then go straight into a four-year undergraduate degree, you actually might want a couple of years where you exhibit, or you travel, or you work. Uh, and so sometimes it's after a couple of years, you know, or even longer that students come back into the master's program. 